Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out LeboView, and today I'm going to do a review of an item and why I think it's a good idea if you have any need for automotive performance. The item that I'm going to discuss today is a Mallory Hi-Fire 6A box. Now, there's a lot of ignition systems out there. MSD has been around a long time. Then you have Excel, Crane, Petronics. There's a bunch of them that's out there, and they've been around a while. But in the Mallory's case, I want to talk about the comparison really between the MSD 6A and this one. I've used MSD capacitive discharge ignitions that were analog years ago. I went into a digital ignition on my tow vehicle for camping and I found that there was some gain to it. However, I just bought the basic one and this was a rebranded Summit brand ignition box that put out a really low voltage but it was supposed to be better than stock. I'll tell you right away that the DuraSpark ignition system that Ford had on their trucks and their cars back in the 80s going into the 90s were really good systems and they're really hard to beat. Now don't take my word for that. That was something that came from an MSD rep back in the 90s. However, the MSD ignition systems did boost increase on the spark and the ability to fire under a heavy load. What I'm looking at between the MSD Digital and the Mallory Digital is that the MSD and the Mallory's are pretty close as far as their output, but as of filming time right now, you can get the Mallory unit for about $170, which is roughly $40 cheaper than you can buy the MSD unit. I'm gonna put the link down below for the Mallory unit, so click on that and it'll take you right to it and it should still be the same price hopefully for you. Why you would want to go with a unit like this is to help yourself with increased load in the cylinder. When I talk about load, I'm not talking about what you're pulling or hauling. I'm talking about the cylinder pressures. And what it is is the box offers multiple sparks which will more easily ignite the combustion that's needed to fire off your cylinder. And the way it does that is offering a stronger spark and a longer duration of multiple sparks instead of your ignition system whenever it's time for it to fire just firing one spark and igniting the air fuel combination that's in the cylinder what this does is it fires not only a stronger spark but a bunch of multiples especially below 3000 rpms and what that does at that point is give you a more clean burn a smoother idle and of course more performance now in my case what i've done is i've put a cooler thermostat in my truck and I've increased the gap of the spark plugs and I've run some higher dollar ignition wires that will handle the extra spark and what that does in my case is with the cooler thermostat I get a little bit extra fuel going into the system because it runs under a partial choke mode and at that point I need something that's a good spark that cleans out that cylinder of that extra fuel so I can use it and utilize it for power We'll go ahead and unbox this ignition system. I'm going to show it to you and give you my first thoughts. All right, obviously you can see, coming from Amazon. Go ahead and open it up. And there you go, Mallory High Fire 6 Series. Go ahead and open the box. All right, you get quite a booklet of instructions. Which, in this case, what happens is this thing is so universal and it covers such a wide variety of applications. They have to give you instructions showing you wiring for all those different applications. Um, plus, there's different languages in there, too. So, we'll set that off to the side. Keep it handy. Of course, the Mallory sticker. Bag of miscellaneous wiring connectors. And then the box itself. Let's go ahead and get it out. And there you go. Boy, this is made really nice. This is like some sort of extruded aluminum. Uh, which I don't think it is, but this is much better than I anticipated. This is going to be moisture resistant to some extent, not waterproof though. And then your leads, which are pretty straightforward. Uh, this is going to be, I'm sure, for the battery, positive and negative. And then you're going to find the different uh, hookups that you need to not only fire the ignition at the correct time, but also uh, run your tachometer, be able to hook into the coil so everything will fire correctly. The thing that I really like about capacitive discharge ignition systems is that it really does improve the quality of your idle at the low RPMs. And when I say low RPMs, I'm, again, I'm saying basically from idle to 3000 RPM. What I'm going to do in this case is utilize this on a truck that hardly ever sees anything above 
4,000, 5,000 RPMs. Nothing above 5,000. I really don't run the truck that hard, but for towing, it's all about low end torque. So this is going to help me out with everything that I already have done with the truck. This is a digital multi-spark high output capacitive discharge ignition system. And the reason that it's good that it's digital is because the old analog style ignition systems just like this, but they're not digital. They use a lot more energy. And what I mean is that you have to put energy into this to get energy out. Of course, it's multiplied greatly and it's delivered really nice, but the analogs have a tendency to really put a drain on your alternator and, of course, your battery. These run at a lower rate. It's much nicer. Of course, this is all set up in aluminum for heat transfer. So you want to make sure when you mount it in your vehicle that you mount it somewhere that's away from a heat source. It's not a good idea necessarily to put it inside the vehicle, but I see people that do that. This will work with points, OEM, aftermarket distributors, including magnetic pickup and crank triggers. It will not work with the Hall effect. And if I remember correctly, the mid 80s, just from my own personal experience, I think that the mid 80s uh, Mustangs, like the 2.3, they had a Hall effect distributor. Um, that may be incorrect, but that's been a long time since I messed around with that stuff. Also, there's the ability for this to be set up for four cylinders and six cylinders. I do know in this case that you have to take off, I believe, this end here, which is just torque screw heads. And there's some dip switches in there that you move to make it set up for either four cylinder or six cylinder. In this case, it's set up for eight cylinder, and that's what I'm going to be putting it on. So I wanted to go ahead and do a quick review of this, just tell you what my first thoughts are and why I think that you should get one of these units. Again, if you get into an MSD, that's okay. I think though for the choice of this one being the exact same output and the exact same characteristic, $40 cheaper, I'll go with this. I mean, this is $170. I'm all for this. Click the link down below. It'll take you right to it. Hopefully this will get you running really smooth and you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching Lebo View. Bye.